Good evening, everyone. I'd like to call to order this regular meeting of the Naperville Park District Board of Commissioners. It is Thursday, October 10th, 2019 at 7.01 p.m. If everyone that is able could please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Bridget, please call the roll. President Janner? Here. Vice President King? Here. Commissioner Carlson? Absent. Commissioner Egan? Present. Commissioner McBroom? Here. Commissioner Riley? Here. Commissioner Todd? Here. Next item on our agenda is matters from the public. Bridget, does anyone from the public sign up to speak? Uh, Mr. David Wentz? David, you can please step up to the podium and say your name and address. Thank you. Go. I should know that. Uh, David Wentz, I'm a resident of 720 Clove Tree Court. Uh, I'm stepping before you tonight uh, wearing two hats. One, as a citizen and, and taxpayer and, and resident of the Buttonwood neighborhood. Um, first off, I want to say, having sit in your side of, of the dais and knowing how hard it is to sometimes make decisions when there's controversy, I want to applaud all of you for making the right decision. Um, I was kind of in the weeds uh, about that. I'm coming out of the weeds tonight. Uh, like my neighbor, Hunter Byington, I wholeheartedly support the compromise. I've seen that detention uh, basin fill up. I've seen, I guess it would be Sequoia overflow and, 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 and stop traffic anytime there's, there's a rainfall of over two inches. I think the decision you guys made was right by, by actually putting in um, the, the, the seeds and the grass that you'll, you'll put there. I think it's gonna be an improvement. I think it'd be a great thing for the neighbors as well. Putting on another hat tonight too, um, I wanted to come tonight to talk about an upcoming event. Uh, for those of you who, who are aware, uh, for the last several months, uh, we've been working on the Naperville Healing Field of Honor. Um, I don't know if this turns on. Yeah. No, it doesn't turn on. It, uh, oh, I'm sorry. I just I, I wanted to uh, sh to discuss the poster and then and then just a few few things about the uniqueness of this year's event. Okay. Uh, first of all. Again, kudos to the Park District. Um, it, it is no secret that we couldn't do this without you. Uh, this, this event uh, is now our fourth installment and probably the most un unique one we'll be doing. It's taking place, as you all know, on, no on Rotary Hill from November, 4, November 1st through the 11th. Um, we've entitled it Remembering a Century of Heroes and Heritage. Uh, what we decided this time around was to make this commemorate the 100th anniversary of the official end of World War I and the starting of the American Legion. And we wanted to uh, highlight a few things. Uh, thanks to some contacts that uh, Ray McGurry pulled together, we we're going to have a special showing of a movie called They Shall Not Grow Old at Naperville North High School on Monday, November 4th, about 6.30 p.m. Um, before that event, we'll be uh, highlighting and, and having a special reception from some of our sponsors. Um, I'm proud to say that we now have a headline sponsor of Calamos Investments. And the, the, in, the uniqueness of this event will be seen when you walk onto the field. Uh, what we've decided to do to commemorate the 100th anniversary of the ending of World War I is to, spa to play special homage to the 332 Naperville residents who left this town in about 1917 as boys came home, most of them as soldiers and men. We're going to have an area of the field we'll call Flanders Field dedicated with special medallions in their names. And we're going to have another area dedicated especially to seven of those soldiers who did not return, most of you who, who've known Judd Kendall. Um, I want to give you a brief overview tonight of some materials I recently received about another one of those seven. His name is Eugene Berger, who is a distant relative of 
Donna Gitzloff, my hairdresser who was down the street on Jackson. Eugene Berger uh, was 19 years old when he passed. He lived in Naperville. He had an older brother and I believe a younger sister. Um, unfortunately, he died of diphtheria after being in France for about three or four months. This is his dog tag. Uh, it's something that we're making unique about this event to authenticate this event but we want you guys to know that we really couldn't do this without you. Um, flags are available for sale, $40 each. You can go online, Naperville, actually healingfield.org dash Naperville 19. I want to especially thank Brad too for helping out with all of the labor and the manpower. I think we're more than adequate with our field assembly, flag assembly, but thanks so much. Appreciate it. Thank you, Dave. Sure. Next item on our agenda is a uh, special recognition. We are pleased to recognize three of our Parks North employees tonight for the life-saving steps they took to help a park patron early last month. Would Mike DiCristina, Joe Mantuca, and Matthew Mazzarelli please join me up at the podium. On here? Okay. Uh, first of all, I think everybody knows it's uh, certainly not every day here in the Park District world we talk about things that are involving life and death, but uh, this evening we're going to uh, talk about just that. Uh, we're very pleased to recognize these guys. Mike, Joe, and Matthew were working at our Nike Sports Complex on Monday, September 9th when Matthew noticed a patron down on the tennis courts and what looked like another patron performing CPR. He told Joe, who then asked Mike to bring the AED from the outdoor AED station. These three employees worked together without hesitation to apply the AED and other life-saving measures on this patron who was in cardiac arrest, and they continued this until the paramedics arrived. This was a very brave act on their part. Many people would be afraid to step forward or not know exactly how to help. However, these three Park District employees used their training and teamwork to take immediate action to help save someone's life. We have a certificate for each of you in recognition of this decisive action you took, as well as your commitment to making a difference. As stated on the certificate, the Naperville Park District Board of Commissioners and Executive Director are very pleased to recognize you for your quick thinking, bravery, and teamwork with other staff to take immediate action to save the life of a patron. So thank you guys uh, very much for all that you did. A round of applause for these guys. Would any of you guys like to say a few words? <laughs> okay.
Okay, we'll now uh, move forward into our updates and reports. Uh, Riverwalk Commission update, there is no uh, report tonight. Uh, Parks Foundation, Vice President King, do you have a report? Uh, no report tonight. Then we'll move on to the Finance Committee update. Does anyone have a Finance Committee update? No report. Thank you. Legislative Committee, Commissioner McBroom. Yeah, so the Legislative Committee met on October, Thursday, October 3rd. Uh, the committee reviewed a list of new laws that were passed in 2019 that affect park districts. Uh, the laws uh, will bring small changes with some additional options to help park districts operations and some new requirements for park districts, such as providing signage for single stall restrooms to indicate, indicate that they are gender neutral. Uh, the committee will continue to keep in communication with our legislators, inviting them to district events and occasionally visiting them with them at their local offices. Um, we don't have a meeting uh, set yet, but we plan to uh, meet again in early January. Thank you, Commissioner McBroom. Next is the Parks and Recreation Committee. Commissioner Riley. Thank you, President Janner. Uh, the Parks and Recreation Committee met on Friday, September 20th, the administration building. Director Wilson updated the committee regarding the F3 group, uh, and that acronym F3 stands for Fitness Fellowship Faith. It's a fitness group that meets at various parks, and they're interested in donating funds towards the installation of pull-up bars in one of our parks. It requested a site of Frontier Sports Complex, and the cost is estimated to be between eight and 9,000 uh, for bars and installation. If the group is interested in moving forward, they will attend the Parks and Rec Committee meeting to discuss further. Uh, consistent with the Strategic Plan, Executive Director McGurry discussed potentially forming a Citizens Advisory Committee and the importance of a specific process for determining specific goals for that group. The consensus was to move forward with this process with ongoing updates to the board. Director Schutz uh, updated the committee on the Wagner's Farm development. We're working with ComEd to install trail connections, sidewalk, uh, and lease could be ready for consideration at this meeting. Director Wilson uh, presented updated progress of strategic plan goals to the committee, which will be presented to the full board and posted on the website for public review. Director uh, Schutz provided images regarding the uh, Fort Hill Activity Center studio expansion, which is anticipated to be, at that time was anticipated to be completed this October, and we have a ribbon cutting coming up. He also updated the committee regarding a request from a resident to add a trail connection at Brush Hill Park along the east-west edge of the park and a community development block grant application is being submitted for this project, estimated to cost about $35,000 to commence in 2020. Director Wilson updated the committee regarding the 2020 budget and fall events and activities. Research is also being done regarding installing additional ice rinks, possibly at the new 95th Street Community Plaza or the Riverwalk Plaza. An opportunity may also be available at the Fifth Avenue project location. So Director Wilson is gathering cost and we will initiate discussions on the Fifth Avenue project. And for golf, September was Customer Appreciation Month. August revenues were positive, and September was tracking ahead of budget. The committee will next meet on Friday, uh, October 18th, 10.30 a.m. in the Building uh, Administration Boardroom. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Riley. The next report is the Board President Report. I had the pleasure of representing the Naperville Park District at the National Recreation and Park Association's annual conference from September 24 through 26 in Baltimore, Maryland. There were 8,000 professionals at this event from all over the world. Conferences like this provide great opportunities for commissioners to network with leaders from other communities, discuss best practices, visit with hundreds of vendors in the parks and rec space, and attend seminars and educational sessions. One of the hottest topics at this year's conference was the rise of eSports, also known as electronic sports. This is a form of competition using video games. eSports often takes the form of organized multiplayer video game competitions, particularly between professional players, individuals, or teams. Many park districts nationwide are deciding whether or not video game competitions are in line with their mission of promoting healthy lifestyles or whether they actually contradict their mission. While that is debatable, it is safe to say that the traditional old school park district mentality has been to get people physically active, and this certainly doesn't fit that mold, but is nevertheless a popular outlet for people to socialize and compete. So again, more conversation on this topic uh, among a lot of different park districts. 
Uh, the second hot topic uh, at this conference was the impact of uh, an increasing minimum wage and a hot job market on park districts. This is a challenge that we will continue to, to face here at the Naperville Park District. We've always considered the park district a great place to work and an employer of choice with a great work environment, a positive culture, and competitive benefits. That said, we realize as an employer, we face tremendous competition and we'll need to continue to make adjustments as needed to remain competitive in the marketplace. If you're watching this and interested in joining our team, a full list of our employment opportunities can be found at aprilparks.org slash about slash employment opportunities. Finally, just a reminder, speaking of conferences, uh, to all commissioners that the Illinois Parks and Recreation Conference is coming up in January the 23rd through 25th, 2020 in downtown Chicago. If your schedule allows, please make plans to attend. Thank you, and uh, now we'll move on to the executive director report. Thank you, uh, President Janner. A couple of things to talk about here. Join us for the next presentation uh, in the Fort Hill Activity Center Wellness Series on Wednesday, October 23rd from 7 to 8 p.m. when Courtney Berland of the DuPage Medical Group will speak about osteoporosis, a health concern for many people. The seminar is free to Fort Hill Fitness members and $5 for non-members. Fort Hill Activity Center just completed the construction of Studio D, a nearly 4,000 square foot wood floor fitness studio located on the second floor. Community members are invited to join the Park District for an opening celebration at 11.30 a.m. on Friday, October 25th with a ribbon cutting, a free 45-minute yoga class, light lunch refreshments, and a drawing for a $50 Dick's Sporting Goods certificate. For more details on the Fort Hill events, please go to our website, naperbillparks.org backslash Fort Hill Activity Center. Auditions for the Magical Starlight Theater's January production of The Wizard of Oz will be held on Saturday, October 26th, and Sunday, October 27th, at the Alfred Rubin Riverwalk Community Center in downtown Naperville. Lead and supporting roles are available for all ages from fourth grade up through adult. For more details, visit our uh, website at naperviloparks.org. And then finally, as uh, Dave Wentz had just uh, talked about, the Healing Fields of Honor is returning to Rotary Hill November 1st through the 11th, honoring our military with a special focus on the 100th anniversary of the end of World War I. Stop by during this time to see a stunning display of 2019 American flags. You can purchase or dedicate a flag in honor of a military service member by visiting healingfield.org backslash Naperville 19. The Riverwalk Cafe will also be open for an event with special discounts available for veterans and active military. Also as part of the event, the Warner Brothers Peter Jackson film, They Shall Not Grow Old, will be shown free of charge at the Naperville North High School Theater on Monday, November 4th at 6.45 p.m. More information is available on all of this at, again, naprovilleparks.org. Thank you. Thank you, Executive Director McGurry. We will now move on to the monthly Treasurer's Report. Move to approve the August 2019 Treasurer's Report. Second. Any discussion? Bridget, please take the roll. Vice President King? Yes. Commissioner Todd? Yes. Commissioner Egan? Aye. Commissioner McBroom? Yes. Commissioner Riley? Yes. President Janner? Yes. We'll now move on to the consent agenda. Bridget, would you please re read the uh, consent, agenda, con consent agenda items for tonight's meeting? Consent Agenda 6.1 approves September 2019 disbursements in the amount of $2,657,792.67. 6.2 approve September 2019 disbursements made through the Bank of America Purchasing Card Program in the amount of $194,659.80. 6.3 approve September 2019 disbursements made through the FinTech Electronic Payment System in the amount of $2,561.45. 6.4 approved September 2019 customer refunds in the amount of $5,171.49. 6.5 approved August 22, 2019 regular meeting minutes. 6.6 .6 approved August 22, 2019 exec executive session closed meeting minutes. 6.7 authorized the executive director to issue a purchase order to New Toys Leisure Products Inc in the amount of $66,775 for site furnishings for the 95th Street Community Plaza project procured through the district's membership in the Sourcewell Cooperative Purchasing Network. 6.8, award the contract for the Knock Park Ball Field Renovations Project to Sports Fields, Inc. in the amount of $79,250. 6.9, 
approve ordinance 965 authorizing acceptance of an easement from Commonwealth Edison for water services at Wolf's Crossing Community Park. 6.10, approve ordinance 966, authorizing acceptance of an easement from Commonwealth Edison for trail purposes at Wolf's Crossing Community Park. 6.11, approve ordinance 967, authorizing acceptance of an easement from Commonwealth Edison ROW for trail purposes at Frontier Sports Complex. 6.12, approve ordinance 968, declaring certain Naperville Park District property as surplus and authoring sale or disposal. And 6.13, approve purchase of one 2019 Ford F-250 XL 4x2 pickup truck with service body from Curie Motors Fleet for $33,296. Thank you. Are there any items to be removed from the consent agenda? Can we pull 6.1, 6.7, and 6.13? That's 6.1, 6.7, and 6.13. All right, move to accept consent agenda items 6.2 through 6.6, 6.8 through 6.12. Second. Any discussion? Bridget, please take the roll. Vice President King? Yes. Commissioner Todd? Yes. Commissioner Egan? Aye. Commissioner McBroom? Yes. Commissioner Riley? Yes. President Janner? Yes. Move to approve consent agenda. Second. This is a voice vote. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, we'll move on then to unfinished business. 6.1. Move to approve agenda item 6.1. Second. Any discussion, Commissioner Egan? My standard vote to the 4% uh, raises. President Janner. Commissioner Riley. There are no wages included in this disbursement, so uh, saying anything about wages and raises is misleading because there's none in here. Thank you. Any other discussion? Bridget, please call the roll. Vice President King? Yes. Commissioner Todd? Yes. Commissioner Egan? No. Commissioner McBroom? Yes. Commissioner Riley? Yes. President Janner? Yes. Move to approve agenda item 6.7. Second. Any discussion? Commissioner Egan? I'll be voting no to this consistent um, on this project. This is an example of a spend that is distracting. These are dollars that could have been put forward towards a pool that the people have been demanding for years. Any other discussion? Commissioner Riley? We've already voted to approve this project, so we have to build it out properly. Thank you. Any other discussion? No, I agree with uh, Commissioner Riley's assessment. We've, um, we've already said that we were going to build 95th Street Plaza, and we certainly need to furnish it uh, according to uh, the plan. All we are doing is executing on our plan at this point. Thank you. Bridget, please take the roll. Vice President King? Yes. Commissioner Todd? Yes. Commissioner Egan? No. Commissioner McBroom? Yes. Commissioner Riley? Yes. President Janner? Yes. Move to approve uh, agenda item 6.13. Second. Any discussion, Commissioner Egan? Uh, I won't be supporting this either. Uh, a, a great memo written by Kevin, as he always does but I can't justify spending this money on rust. Um, I, and maybe it's my upbringing and the rusty old truck that we drove to the farm. Uh, in the passenger seat, there was a giant thing of steel because the footboards had, rit had been rotted out in it. Had, had that not been there, we would have plummeted to our death. Some great memories as a child, I know. But um, the car, the truck is running fine. I appreciate that there's rust on it. 
but you know, looks aren't everything in life, so I'll be voting no on this. Any other discussion? Commissioner Todd? I believe the memo uh, cites more than just rust. Um, we're talking about 97 work orders on this particular vehicle, uh, totaling over $10,000. We tried to replace our vehicles before. Um, um, they absolutely go out of service, and then our folks can't do the work that they need to do. So um, totally support this. I think we have a, a history and a practice of trying to be uh, just in time in, re in uh, replacing our vehicles. Any other discussion? Thank you. Bridget, please take the roll. Vice President King? Yes. Commissioner Todd? Yes. Commissioner Egan? Nope. Commissioner McBroom? Yes. Commissioner Riley? Yes. President Janner? Yes. Next item on our agenda is future meetings. The next regular meeting of the Board of Park Commissioners will be October 24th, 2019 at 6.30 p.m. at the Fort Hill Activity Center Multipurpose Room located at 20 Fort Hill Drive in Naperville followed by the next regular meeting here in uh, council chambers. That'll be November 14th, 2019, 7 p.m. again, right here, 400 South Eagle Street in Naperville. We'll now move on to executive session. Move to adjourn to executive session, discuss land sale under section 2C6 and semi-annual review of executive session minutes under section 2C21 of the Open Meetings Act. Second. Any discussion? Rich, we should also have employee, discuss employee performance in closed session. Yeah, I had, I had uh, decided to uh, do the executive director's review on the 24th of October uh, because I think at that point all of the commissioners will be here for that discussion. I think it's an important discussion. So uh, with Commissioner Carlson absent today and Attorney Price, who's normally uh, with us as well and has managed that contract in the p past, I thought it would be more prudent to discuss that on October 24th meeting. Any other discussion? Bridget? Thought, uh, point, point of order, I thought when we had multiple commissioners requesting something had to happen. Can you clarify, I explain further? The conversation I had with you is we had a couple commissioners request that we have this discussion in closed session tonight. I was unaware that we wanted to have it in closed session tonight. I was aware that we wanted to have the discussion. And again, I thought it would be more prudent with uh, the entire board present along with Attorney Price that has managed that contract in the past. So not trying to avoid the topic, certainly we'll discuss it. I just thought since it's something of this magnitude, we should discuss it with the entire board. I'll drop it. No, still want to have the discussion. Just would rather have the whole, rather have the whole board present. I would agree with that logic as well too. Thank you. Any other discussion? Bridget, please take the roll. First, President King. Yes. 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 Okay. <laughs> Commissioner Todd. Yes. Commissioner Egan. No. Commissioner McBroom. Yes. Commissioner Riley? Yes. President Janner? Yes.